What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Arkham City, The Order of the World, issue number four of six. This one's written by Dan Waters with art by Danny, too good for last names apparently. I know I kind of make that joke a lot and I'm sorry for being so repetitive, but I have to say it every single time. But this one picks up after the events of the previous issue, which I thought was an improvement over the first two. We're starting to kind of move along a little bit in terms of the story. Uh, this is the second half of it, so by the time March rolls around, we'll be done with this whole series here. Uh, I'm still not really loving it. Uh, the art style by Danny, it fits the horror aspects, but like in some instances, it doesn't work for me. Like, for instance, when Asriel shows up and you have to perform some sort of action going on here. Like, look at this. Like, this, it's not very visually appealing, even with the color style right there. Like, compare it to something like uh, what's going on in the Robin book with uh, Gleb Melnikoff or Roger Cruz, like that really fits the whole action-focused era. Uh, this, it, it doesn't really quite work for me. Uh, it just looks kind of ugly a little bit for that whole fighting-esque moment. Uh, but when it comes to the horror aspects and kind of feeling otherworldly, I think it works for when it's trying to pull that. But when you try and do the action bits, uh, it just doesn't work for me. It just looks like two blobs fighting against each other but for the otherworldly horror feel i think it works but basically dr uh, acosta uh, dr joy uh takes that skull because azrael comes in and attacks the ten-eyed man uh we have some more other people showing up this thing like dr phosphorus and nocturna uh, i guess i don't know like was nocturna anything else i think was it that suicide squad book or whatever i guess they're different i don't even know uh dc comics continuity is kind of confusing but basically we're dealing with the fallout of that one of the detectives from earlier and just kind of the madness of the city dr joy comes in and this issue is kind of questioning her own sanity is she starting to lose a grip too because like i saw a ghost and they're like did you really and then they start to play on that a little bit so we do eventually come to find that the reveal of the ghost is it's somebody else working for professor pig so I don't know how this is all going to go back to the events of AD. Are we going to find the exact culprit behind it? Because at this particular point, we still don't have a full answer of the... Per I, at least I don't think so, of who was the one responsible for the AD attacks. Because I feel like a lot of that in some of the books is just kind of up in the air a little bit. Was it really Scarecrow who did it? I, I See, even I don't really know. But we're still dealing with the fault of that. And obviously we've got the whole new Arkham thing, Arkham Tower... Why you'd want to call it Arkham Tower is behind me, considering how much people hate Arkham Asylum in Gotham, because it's just, we're all kind of like the, the supervillains and all that go, and just kind of keeps them locked up and doesn't really do much to help them. But yeah, let's call it Arkham Tower. It makes sense. But then again, Arkham for uh, IP name value. Uh, so yeah, like this issue itself was just all right. I, I like that it's picking up the pace a little bit. And having Professor Pig be some sort of a factor in that makes it a little bit interesting. I'm not the hugest Professor Pig fan, but I do think there's some pretty interesting stories surrounding him with, like, some of the really disturbing stuff. So it could all work out to be something interesting. I don't exactly know, and I'm not sure what role Azrael is going to play after this thing. Because I guess, what is it, Azrael's 30th anniversary or something this year, I think? Yeah, I think so. So it'll be quite interesting to see how it all... Uh, plays out here but anyways uh another quick review like i said i don't have too many thoughts on uh the order of the world although i will say this i really really like this cover to me this is the best cover of the series so far i'm like man the way the whole book was able to kind of replicate this style right here you got the hand of dr phosphorus like this is an awesome looking cover so my favorite aspect about this issue uh the cover <laughs> the cover looks really really cool so i'm happy with that but anyways what are your thoughts on Arkham City, The Order of the World? Tell me them in the comments section down below. Uh, are you enjoying this thing? Like I said, I'm just kind of, you know, I think it's all right. But since I started covering it, I'm like, I might as well finish talking about every issue. There's only six of them, so we only got a little bit left. And plus, I, it, it's nice to kind of get something a little bit different outside my comfort zone. Um, so there's that. But anyways, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. Be sure to come back later on today as I talk about the latest issue of Detective Comics, which is going to begin a 12-week weekly comic, which is going to be insane to talk about. Like 12 straight weeks of Detective Comics, which is really unfathomable i think like and they're all like 30 page issues or something like that with their own backups i don't know what's going to happen after this is detective comics going to be taking a break after that i would certainly hope so because that's that's a lot of comics to kind of pump out in a span of 12 weeks but i mean they're going to do it because i i guess um 
the main Batman book is just taking a little bit of a backseat, only doing it once a month. But, you know, if they can craft an interesting story with the whole Arkham Tower thing, let them. So we'll see where that goes from here. But anyways, that's all I got to say. Uh, come back later on today for that Detective Comics review. And uh, as always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.